have seven shows coming up and we don't have any ideas for them yet, which is, that's typical, but. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down 100 facts about South Park. Whatever, I do what I want. In this video, we'll be looking at facts about the hit animated comedy series. Which fact about South Park did you not know about? Let us know in the comments. Leanne Cartman was named after an ex-girlfriend of creator Trey Parker that frequently cheated on him. Oh, you've been so helpful. I just don't know how to thank you. Huh, I could think of a few ways. Oh. Trey Parker and fellow South Park creator Matt Stone originally intended to permanently kill off Kyle rather than Kenny in season 5. Sparky the Dog was voiced by Oscar-winning actor George Clooney. An episode of South Park is made six days before it airs. The producers of the show 24 were so pleased with The Snook, an episode parodying the former, that they sent the South Park creators a suitcase nuke prop. The South Park pilot episode was made using stop-motion photography. South Park's theme song is performed by the band Primus. Come on down to South Park and meet some friends of mine. Video game company Blizzard Entertainment assisted South Park with the production of their World of Warcraft-centered episode Make Love Not Warcraft. Kyle's younger adopted brother Ike has been voiced by several individuals over the years, including Trey Parker's daughter, Betty. After finishing up South Park Bigger, Longer, and Uncut, the creators were so fatigued there's actually an episode from Season 3 that they do not remember making. After watching South Park's Black Friday trilogy, Game of Thrones showrunners David Benioff and D.B. Weiss cut down on the number of scenes involving characters walking through gardens. Season 8's episode Passion of the Jew contains a subtle joke aimed at Basketball, a film starring both South Park creators. This is just like when we got our money back for Basketball. Members from the Church of Scientology investigated the creators of South Park with the purpose of humiliating them. You can't make fun of Scientology, kid. We are gonna sue your ass and your balls! The South Park creators were personally thanked by the team behind The Simpsons for parodying Family Guy in the season 10 two-parter Cartoon Wars. So, you don't like Family Guy either, huh? I hate Family Guy. Due to its heavy use of profanity, Season 5's It Hits the Fan was almost not going to air. Kenny McCormick is based on a childhood friend of Trey Parker whose name was Kenny, wore an orange parka, came from a low-income household, and frequently skipped school, only to eventually return. He would always sort of diss it, we're like, what happened to Kenny? Is he dead? You know, and just like, you know, but... He was, sort of, he was sort of, you know, a lot of, a lot of people, characters are based on real people. After Kanye West infamously interrupted Taylor Swift at the 2009 MTV Video Music Awards, MTV ran the Fish Sticks episode parodying Kanye West on repeat for two hours straight. Now, there any questions? Do you like fish sticks? Love them. You're a gay fish. <laughs> <laughs> One of the inspirations behind Eric Cartman was all in the family's Archie Bunker. The South Park movie initially received an NC-17 rating. Well, the film is R-rated and it's not intended for children. Ah, but of course children are gonna see it! The PlayStation game Tiger Woods 99 PGA Tour Golf had to be recalled because an excerpt from a South Park episode was hidden within it. George Clooney also voiced a doctor in South Park Bigger, Longer, and Uncut. Son, I have some bad news. We accidentally replaced your heart with a baked potato. You have about three seconds to live. Season 15's You're Getting Old was inspired by the South Park creator's own experience with getting older. Aliens make hidden cameos in several South Park episodes. McDaniel College, a university based in Maryland, offers a course titled South Park and Contemporary Social Issues, which analyzes how the show addresses social issues. 
It's been reported that Jerry Seinfeld once inquired if he could guest star on an episode of South Park. He rescinded the request when the creators offered him the role of a turkey. The term Chin Pokemon, the name of an episode from Season 3 in Japanese, roughly translates to Penis Pocket Monster. The South Park The Fractured But Whole video game was developed by Ubisoft. The first ever South Park video game titled South Park was released in 1998. The Tourette's Syndrome Association was very complimentary towards the creators with their work on the episode Le Petit Tourette, stating that it was well-researched and provided accurate information on Tourette's Syndrome. Mr. Mackey is based on Mr. Lackey, a guidance counselor at Trey Parker's high school, who would frequently say the phrase, <laughs> okay. All of the names which appear in the end credits of Season 6's Trapped in the Closet are either John Smith or Jane Smith. Back in 2011, for a limited time, Frito-Lay released Cheesy Puffs, a line of chips sharing the same name as Cartman's favorite snack. Speaking of which, Trey Parker has publicly stated that Cartman is his favorite character on the show. Sweet. Casa Bonita, featured in the eponymous Season 7 episode, is a real restaurant. In 2021, it was bought by Trey Parker and Matt Stone. In the episodes Chicken Lover and Ike's Wee Wee, in the South Park Elementary classroom, a part of the alphabet can be read as Dios mío matarón a Kenny bastardos. This Spanish phrase in English translates to Oh my God, they killed Kenny, bastards. Matt Stone's sister can be seen in a picture frame in South Park's pilot episode at Cartman's house. Stone is also not a fan of the show's first three seasons. Meanwhile, Trey Parker despises the aforementioned episode Make Love Not Warcraft, so much so that he wanted to pull it from airing. The show's most recent opening features a headstone belonging to Kenny McCormick. The text written on it reads, Sleep well, little child, the Lord holds thee now. In a blink-and-you'll-miss-it moment in South Park Bigger, Longer, and Uncut, when Kenny is rushed to the emergency room, next to the door includes a to-do list, with one of the below tasks being Kill Bond, assigned to a Dr. No. In Season 2's Clubhouses, a woman can be seen wearing a t-shirt containing the abbreviation DVDA, the name of Trey Parker and Matt Stone's band. Adrian Beard is not only the voice behind Tolkien Black, but also a producer, art director, and a storyboard artist for the show. All right. To properly voice Kenny, Matt Stone either covers his mouth with his hand or sleeve while speaking. The edition of the Guinness Book of World Records released in 2001 lists South Park bigger, longer, and uncut as the animated film holding the record for most swearing. How many swear words does the movie contain, might you ask? 399. Cartman's crimes include and are not limited to murder, theft, arson, prostitution, war crimes, smuggling, armed robbery, vandalism, embezzlement, and drug possession. You got it, man. You got it. See ya. The show has won five Emmys. Trey Parker and Matt Stone both met at the University of Colorado Boulder. The red-haired police officer, who is often a focal point in the plots of several episodes, has a name, Harrison Yates. He sometimes has gone by the name Detective Harris. I've got something for you too, my love. I just put it right over here by the freeze! You're busted, buddy! I'm a cop! While Cartman often goes by his last name, his first name is Eric, if you didn't already know that. But what you might not have known is Eric Cartman's middle name. It's Theodore. Next will be, uh, Eric Theodore Cartman. Hello, everybody. A visual inspiration for the town of South Park is the town of Fair Play, Colorado. Despite being read in a muffled voice and are often incomprehensible, Kenny's lines are scripted. Hey, hey, Kenny! Huh? You love NASCAR, huh? 
Trey Parker voices several characters on South Park, including Stan, Cartman, Randy, and Garrison, just to name a few. Oh, here he comes! Oh, it's going to be a rot! <laughs> Meanwhile, characters voiced by Matt Stone include Kyle, Kenny, Butters, Gerald, Craig, and many more. There can't be anything in that agreement that allows a company to do what they're talking about to Kyle. Hold up, here it is right here. The show was featured in Time Magazine's 100 Greatest Shows of All Time list in 2007. The voice behind Lord on South Park was musical artist Sia. Stan? In Randy's fit of rage on the episode Something You Can Do With Your Finger, his voice contains a sample of actor Patrick Stewart's voice playing Captain Picard in Star Trek First Contact. No! No! Remember when Radiohead appeared on South Park? The real members of the band actually voiced them. Wow, we have to go. To Colorado, but we've got an album to mix. Ever wanted to get a behind-the-scenes look at the making of South Park? You can. Check out Six Days to Air, a documentary that follows the creators and their process of producing an entire episode in six days. After receiving several death threats, Comedy Central forced South Park to censor all audio and visual references of the Prophet Muhammad in the episodes 200 and 201. Due to their depiction of the Prophet Muhammad, the following five South Park episodes are unavailable on streaming services. Super Best Friends, Cartoon Wars Part 1 and 2, 200, and 201. If you don't show Muhammad, then you've made a distinction between what is okay to poke fun at and what isn't. Either it's all okay, or none of it is. The first name of Miss Crabtree, the infamous former school bus driver, was Veronica. I know she hadn't been in any recent episodes, but damn it, she deserved better than this! During certain instances in the show, Butter's father, Stephen, is referred to as Chris. There is no going back, Chris! The show debuted and premiered on August 13th, 1997. Butter's original name in earlier scripts and storyboards was Puff Puff and Swanson. Who's the kid with a heart full of magic? Everyone knows it's Butter! That's me! Orgasmo, the titular protagonist of the creator's 1997 film, can be seen on a poster in Cartman's room on several occasions. It's been estimated that Kenny's face has been revealed a total of a dozen times. Former late-night show host Jay Leno once provided the voice of Cartman's cat, Mr. Kitty. No, Kitty, this is my corned beef cabbage. No, Kitty, it's a bad kitty! South Park was first introduced to the public in the animated short The Spirit of Christmas. People started copying and copying them, and that became this like viral video, but before the internet. In Season 5's episode, It Hits the Fan, the word shit is said a total of 162 times. The creators considered having the Imagination Land trilogy be a film. The animation style and Kenny and Gerald's hallucinations in Season 12's Major Boobage are inspired by the 1981 film Heavy Metal. In 2021, South Park Studios signed a deal worth $900 million with its parent company, Viacom CBS, to produce an additional six seasons of South Park along with 14 films. Speaking out on this deal, Matt Stone stated, We have f you money now. For those who've never taken the time to fully read it, the show's opening disclaimer reads as follows. All characters and events in this show, even those based on real people, are entirely fictional. All celebrity voices are impersonated poorly. The following program contains coarse language and, due to its content, should not be viewed by anyone. The way in which Terrence and Philip, the stars featured in the boys' favorite TV show, were drawn and animated by the creators was in response to critics criticizing South Park's animation style and use of fart jokes. 
Actor Tom Cruise was reportedly so furious with the season 6 episode Trapped in the Closet that he supposedly not only threatens to sue the creators, but also cancel his entire press tour for the Mission Impossible 3 film, which he starred in. Don't press me. Just don't. If a re airing of the episode was not pulled. You made me look stupid. I'm going to sue you too. Well, fine. Go ahead and sue me. In 2022, South Park teamed up with Adidas to release a line of sneakers dedicated to several of the show's characters. The year prior to that, they released sneakers based off of Towley. Speaking of Towley, the purpose behind this character's presence in the eponymous episode was to bash and parody company's efforts to merchandise everything. And available soon, the Towley Towel! It comes with all your favorite catchphrases! You wanna get high? The character Tweak's last name is Tweak, spelled T-W-E-A-K. Tweak, calm down. Have some coffee. Kyle's hairstyle was modeled after creator Matt Stone's afro. Stan's parents share the same first names as Trey Parker's parents, while Kyle's parents bear the same names belonging to Matt Stone's. In 2022, ahead of the show's 25th season, South Park Studios released an orchestral rendition of their theme song. Going down to South Park, gonna leave my walls behind. If we're working day or night, people shouting, happy neighbors. Heck, I'm up to South Park, gonna see if I can go wide. No, Yelp never sued South Park for $10 million for You're Not Yelping. In the show's unaired pilot, Trey Parker and Matt Stone credited themselves under the pseudonyms Tupac Schwartz and M.C. Goldstein. According to Trey Parker, Mr. Hanky the Christmas Poo served to symbolize Kyle's loneliness and being outcast during Christmas. Howdy -ho! The airing of the episode Banned in China resulted in South Park literally being banned in China. Butters is loosely based on Eric Stow, an animation director and producer for the show, whose nickname is Butters. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. The name Eric Cartman is inspired by Matt Karpman, a boy that Trey Parker attended high school with, whom he describes as being obnoxious and overweight. I'm not fat. I'm big boned. In every version of the show's opening theme song, Kenny has lyrics. While we can't explicitly say what they are here, let's just say he expresses the following. His admiration for certain parts of the female anatomy, his desire to get with Britney Spears, and the size of one of his organs. <laughs> Matt Stone has gone on record stating that crap people was the worst idea we've ever had. Crap people, crap people, crap people, crap people. To honor the show's 25th anniversary, the South Park creators held a concert at the Red Rocks Park and Amphitheater in Colorado featuring bands Primus and Ween, where they played several songs featured on the show. During this concert, the governor of Colorado, Jared Polis, appeared and declared August 10th South Park Day in the state. PC Principal's real name is Peter Charles. Back in his 30s, Trey Parker said, There's no way I'm going to be doing South Park when I'm 40. He turned 40 in 2009. The South Park pilot cost an estimated $300,000 to make. In 1999, Chocolate Salty Balls, the song sung by the character Chef in the episode Chocolate Salty Balls, reached number one on the UK singles chart. In 2006, South Park and its parent company Comedy Central won a Peabody Award. I think Trey and I will, will always be grateful to Peabody Awards for introducing us to Battlestar Galactica. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from Watch Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.